23 minutes before 7 here on this program. Uh, every year on the 21st of November, fishing communities throughout the world celebrate the day to highlight the importance of maintaining the world's fisheries. According to a United Nations report, fishing is central to the livelihood and food security of over 200 million people, especially in the developing world. Aquaculture is seen by many as a source to assist with the increasing demand for food production. Our producer, Linky Birman, and cameraman, Trevor Pistorius, visited some of the aquaculture projects in Saldana Bay, where we were broadcasting yesterday on the uh, Cape West Coast land, uh, and uh, they filed this report for us. Aquaculture is growing more rapidly than all other animal food producing sectors. Mussels and oysters have been farmed in Saldana Bay for many years. The oyster side, we are a, a grow-out facility only. So we are buying in our spat, our babies from another business uh, when they 9 to 14 millimeters long. And then we take them and we grow them out on the farm. So we don't uh, hatch them ourselves. We're buying in the seed and then we just grow them out. So every eight weeks, roughly two months, you must bring in all the oysters and clean them because the, the cages that they're in got stopped and so your water circulation is, is not really good and we know they are full to feed us so they need good water circulation to, to maximize their diet. So that's what's happening in the back. Those are in the water now for six weeks. So they come out, we clean the crates, we clean the animals, we weigh them sort them into their new classes. The market ready animals is going to the market and the rest still must go out, they are going back to the sea. We only give the mussels ropes to hang on, whether they're sitting on rocks or on the ropes that we provided them. So that's actually a natural process. If you just hang ropes down in the water, it will start attaching mussels and then in a year's time you can harvest uh, rope that thick. But what we as farmers are doing, we are working on a seven, eight month cycle. We class them, grade them over a table. And the small ones fell through and the big ones stays on top. The big ones, the market mussels, they come in for processing or for fresh sales. And the small ones falling through the table, we replant them on the, on the ropes. It's like a lot of people on this is very close related to, to making boerevoirs. You've got a, a sock on the outside with the, ro the rope inside and then you just put muscles in and you lightly uh, wind it with a rope just to, to help them to keep uh, until they've got their own grip on each other. The sector employs people from the local community like Kevin Hendricks who started working in the factory but worked towards becoming a skipper on one of the muscle boats. Ik heb de geleentheid gekregen om een schip te gaan schrijven wat mijn baas me gegeven geleentheid. Ik heb de geleentheid toe aan de aankom. Dat is wat ik einde wil gewisselen met de kampioen. Around 10 to 12 percent of the world's population depends on fisheries and aquaculture for their livelihoods. It's therefore critically important to guard against threats to our ocean's ecosystems. Linky Birman for Morning Live, Saldana Bay on the Cape West Coast.